Hey, I got a question for you. I'm on the daily grind. I'm taking care of work. I'm getting paid today. I'm doing things to make it right. Is your money working for you? Or are you working for money? It's the life, it's the life I need. Welcome to the Crypto Lifestyle, the lifestyle where your money works for you instead of you working for that money. And guys, today's video, we're going to break down Kilimanjaro and it's very, very optimistic, this ICO, in my opinion. So what is Kilimanjaro? It is the first of its kind to go onto the blockchain. It is quantum computing, okay? Now, why is quantum computing so, so special? I'll tell you why, guys. So right now, today, blockchain is in its infancy stages, right? We get that. Um, but quantum, and, but hold on, let me back up for a sec, actually. Um, what makes blockchain technology so special? It's because it, it's the most secured technology we have out there why because it is based off of cryptography right cryptography is something that cannot be hacked right now today the technology we have right now today it is pretty much impenetrable okay it cannot be touched why because it's called a blockchain because every transaction is connected to each each block and um, each node so in order for you to hack one you gotta hack millions of these computers right so today it's very it's just impossible to do that because we don't have any technology or we do not have quantum computing um, that's just, you know, that's developed and finished. It's still in its, I wouldn't even call it infancy stages. It's like not even conceded as yet, okay? It's not even born as yet. So just to put into perspective, let's think of it like this, okay? So quantum computing can be used to breach cryptographic security and systems, okay? It can also gain access to contents of encrypted messages. So think of Telegram, that's encrypted, right? It could hack into that very easily, very easily, okay? But moreover, even if the cryptographic key is unknown, so what is that? Your private keys, okay, guys? So anything like your MyEther wallet, even your Ledger wallet, anything like that could be hacked with quantum computing, even the blockchain, okay? I know that sounds unbelievable, but it is true okay guys but the good thing is um, there are good and bad sides of everything you know like what I tell people with a hammer you could either build a house with it or it could be used for other bad things as well and uh, you know guys another thing why would I want to talk about something that is so fresh and young that is pretty much in its R&D stages research and development why because I wish somebody told me this coin right here called Ethereum, what well, this was in 2015, okay? When, is, when it was in its infancy stages or 2014, because I think if we took that information and we ran with it, we all would be sitting pretty right now. We wouldn't even care about another ICO and from an investing standpoint because we made a ton of money in Ethereum because we took the time to actually know the information and take it in, let it marinate in our minds and um, understand the technology before it came out and then we invest into something like that. So I'm looking at quantum computing in that same manner like pretty much how ethereum came out um and when people were talking about smart contract networks and blockchains in 2014 2015 right um and to my other point is this any new tech going onto the blockchain always does fantastic okay so once again let's go to ethereum ethereum was the first smart contract look where it's sitting right we don't see another smart contract ahead of ethereum why because ethereum was the first of its kind kind of like how kilimanjaro is the first of its kind quantum computing now let's take a let's go down the list here eos eos was one of the first new consensus mechanisms outside of mining look where it is delegated proof of stake it's sitting at number five you know we could even look at litecoin litecoin was one of the first um faster chains out there because we know bitcoin is slow and litecoin came out and boom look where litecoin is sitting right um let's take it really down here though we could actually even look at um iota internet of things the first internet of things coin look at the market cap it's sitting at number nine overall market cap so people that invested into these projects early you know or the ones that were first of its kind the first new category going on the blockchain did really really well we look at one last one here and uh where is it uh golem golem it's the first cloud computing um coin to go onto the blockchain and golem did really really well there you go computing power shared okay guys so now we're talking about quantum computing and kilimanjaro going onto the blockchain so i have all the reason in the world to believe this is going to do really really well because why it's the first of its kind so if history is an indication of anything it would repeat itself 
And to another massive point that I always seem to stress in my videos, guys, is this, okay? So I talked about when any new technology comes out, okay, anything new, whether it be the internet, the advent of flight with the Wright brothers, um, you know, anything, anything, government workers always gets it first and then it trickles down to the public, okay? So right here in this article I seen, until fairly recently, the bulk of the funding of, for research in quantum computing came from the world's governments. And when we look at this side over here, quantum computing is already on its way. D-Wave, a company backed by Goldman Sachs and Bezos Expeditions, also known as Jeff Bezos, the CEO of Amazon. Okay, guys? So right now, we got government people, we got um, financial institutions, and we got conglomerates. Okay? all investing into this but the average person don't got piece of the pie until right now Kilimanjaro so that is fascinating news that's very delightful to know guys we have the opportunity to invest into a decentralized quantum computing company so for me that's pretty awesome but what are the actual real world applications of something like quantum computing? So quantum computing is very special because you could combine it with say like AI, right? Let's get this off. But you could combine it with AI and it's like, you know, so pretty much combining it with a machine learning um, technology like AI. It's a very powerful because the computational power combined with AI could process and decode unanalyzed data. So anything from like financial markets, right? So Wall Street, they spend a shit ton of money on computational power. So imagine if they had something like quantum computing, right? It could analyze all of the charts for them. You know, we don't need human beings or traders to do this anymore, right? So, and that's just one application. And just to, to know that it could actually hack cryptography, that's 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 so crazy because guys, it's impenetrable right now, blockchain technology. That's what makes it so special. In blockchain, well not blockchain, but in Bitcoin's 10 years of existence, there has not been one fraudulent transaction. That's how secure it is and that's what brings blockchain value. And this is why it's so priceless, right? Because of its security. But now, when we're talking about quantum computing that could disrupt that, we're talking about something that's far more sophisticated than blockchain, okay? So let's get into the actual project itself, Kilimanjaro. Um, actually, let's check out some of the token economics and the white paper. Well, you guys know, I don't need, we don't need to read a white paper, but this is one very important thing right here. MVP prototype available because something this sophisticated, okay, like quantum computing, you guys can't talk the talk. You can't just show us a website. You can't just show us a white paper. Um, you gotta show us that you're capable of doing a little bit of what you're saying, okay? Um, this isn't an exchange that you're just gonna pop up and, you know, you, you know, that's pretty easier to do. That's much easier to do than an actual technology like quantum computing, okay? So let's look at these um, numbers over here. Hard cap, market cap, 25 million. You guys know how I love that. This is something that people kind of overlook to the country like Estonia guys they're one of the leaders in blockchain like they're they're full supporters okay Estonia Malta uh, I know Singapore I believe it's zero taxes on cryptocurrency right all of these nations so that's a great great thing in my opinion as well um the pre-sale is live right now the coin is going for about 18 cents um but you know as I said we don't really care about price it's all about hard cap or market cap one drawback about quantum computing is this as I said, it's not even in its infancy stages, it's now being born. So, but once again, as I alluded to, I wish somebody told me what Ethereum was in 2014 because I would have took that information and ran with it. Just like I hope, you know, some people out there is taking this information and running with it, right? You, you gotta analyze your investments in your portfolio. We got short-term investments, we got mid-term and long-term, right? Now, the people that invested into, say, Ethereum in its early stages, look at them right now. They're, they're living the life, right? They're doing their thing, right? They took the knowledge and ran with it, they, right? They took action. Same thing with Kilimanjaro. You gotta, you know, cash flow is very important. Bankroll management is extremely important. If you are a full-time investor into these types of um, ICOs or altcoins or what have you. So if you can't invest into something and wait for the returns to blossom, say like three, four, maybe even five years down the road, then maybe this isn't for you because this is definitely a long-term project. So let's check it out. Q3 2016 to Q4 2017, Kilimanjaro team publishes the first paper ever that exploits remote cloud computing, um, sorry, cloud quantum computer, okay? 
The first qubits arrive in, at the Kilimanjaro Computation Services for testing. White paper released in Q1. The pre-seal is live right now, Q2 2018. I believe the minimum is 50, no, sorry, the minimum is 100 Ethereum for that, okay? We got Q2 of 2019, first experiments with Flux qubits by Kilimanjaro Computing Services, so on and so forth. Guys, look, it goes down. It goes, look, 2020, 2021, right? This is an ongoing project, guys. Now, when is it gonna hit exchanges? You know, they don't really like to talk about this, but one could imagine after the token sale. I would leave the link to the Telegram chat at the bottom, guys. Um, hey, you guys gotta decide, should you invest? Well, that's entirely up to you. You gotta draw those conclusions. That's not for me to say. The white paper link, I will leave that in the description box below as well. Okay, so let's check out the team, the team right here. Uh, okay, so we got Jose, the LinkedIn links are all here, guys. You know, I highly recommend everybody check this out on their own time. You guys gotta know, listen, I'm not a financial advisor. I am strictly a crypto fanatic. What I'm doing here is just showing the world what I am interested in and um, what I may participate in as well. But please do your own homework and always risk money that you're willing to lose. Cannot stress that enough. Just because I am a YouTuber doesn't mean I'm an expert and I don't claim to be an expert. As I said, I am a crypto fanatic. Okay, guys, so check out the team. Take the time. Go to the LinkedIn. They're all here. Um, we could also check out one thing here. As I mentioned, man, it's very, very, very important for something of this sophisticated technology to have an MVP. So if we could click the MVP link, it will take us to GitHub. And here we go. Um, they have it here. So, hey, guys, it looks good. It looks good. But the only drawback is this, right? To, to, to conclude this video, all I could say is this, um, you know, is this for you? It, it comes down to two things. Are you willing to wait it out? Could you wait a few years for this to really boom? I think if you do, this could be very, very profitable. Do you have the patience? Do you have the bankroll and the cash flow? The luxury of all those things I just mentioned to wait it out. I probably would be investing in this. I'm gonna just still feel it out, see how things goes. I will definitely update everybody if I go forward with this or not. So check it out, guys. It's currently on ICO Bench, and there you have it. We checked out the team. We looked at the lengthy roadmap. They do have a link to their MVP. It is the most sophisticated technology going on to the blockchain. You know, um, this is the technology that is more sophisticated than the blockchain in itself. So guys, there ain't really much left to see other than until the next video. You're on your own. Later.